Hello, welcome to Minecraft Maker. My name's Theron, and uh, today we're going to do something kind of special. The uh, the gold farm is pretty much complete. I just kind of have to turn it on, so I figured we'd do that on camera. So we're taking our new rail system out there, the Mob Spawn Express. And let's go take a look. Not super eager to do this in the rain, but it'll work. Let's see how our mob drop situation is. Oh, it's about the same. Oh, we have eight glowstone dust now. And 62 zombie flesh. Okay. Let's go up to the top. Let me show you what I've done up there because I haven't really uh, recorded any of this. So I built five levels of mob spawner uh, based on the Etho uh, compact mob spawner design. And uh, the top three levels, I built little viewing rooms and uh, little waiting rooms, which I still have to decorate. Don't know quite what I'm gonna do with that. And then up here, <coughs> pardon me, uh, I, I, I built a, a gold farm. So. I've been using the uh, obsidian generator back at the base to create lots of obsidian because it's kind of necessary. So I've built four sets of concentric um, nether portals or obsidian rings at the, oh shoot. I'm missing one right there. Okay, we have to fix that. Okay. Hang on a second. I hope I uh, should have some obsidian in here. Oops. Yes, I do. Okay. You know what? Just in case. Throw this stuff in here because I don't know if I need it. And I'm not going to need that. The dirt and the gravel could be useful. Okay. Let's go back up. Um, one of the problems with building this thing is we are at the cloud layer, which makes it a little difficult at times. Okay, let's go over to that side. So I wanted to build a little viewing platform up here. So that's what I've done. I will probably put at least one ring of glass in after I am done. Um, but I don't think I, I have to worry about any of the, the baddies. So I think that Missy, oh, it's right there. I can see it here. Jeez. Okay. Well, let's, uh, let's take care of that. Um, gravel's probably the best thing for this. Right there, goodness gracious, I can't believe I missed that. Okay, there we go. All right. So the, uh, I'm using the current optimal design for nether portal gold farm, over, overworld nether portal gold farms, I guess is what you would call it. Um, they are concentric rings, each spanning out. So I've got uh, the risers on diagonals. And uh, the tops and bottoms are all solid. So I'm sharing the risers between each ri each riser is shared between two different portals. So there's portals on all four sides. I will then place water down here to push the uh, zombie pigmen into the center. So. Here's what I've got. I've got a little chest up here and I've got some stuff in it. Let's uh, ditch some of the things I don't actually need. Don't really need this. Uh, the silk pick could help. I don't need this. I don't need this. I don't need this. I hope I don't need this. I don't need this. I don't need this. I don't need this. 
Eat this. I'm going to carry some torches just in case because it gets dark up there. For reasons I shall explain momentarily. And then uh, the sword. Yeah, just in case. And then I want to carry with me these water buckets. I shouldn't need all of these. I should only really need two of them. But you never know. So here's the plan. I got my flint and steel. I got my water buckets. All right. So, um, so I built the portals. There's a there's a spot in the center here where the water will push all the zombie pigmen to. I've got a um, spot in the center of the portal area, which will be opened up. I've got dirt in there as a uh, scaffolding temporarily, and all these torches need to go. But um, uh, I, then I put this uh, umbrella circular shape above uh, so that daylight will not come down through the portal area and uh, get down through the drop hole and flood into the uh, into the spawning chamber below because I was concerned about that. So let's light up these portals. Ooh. And take out these. Now I want to be careful. I don't necessarily want to go into these portals. Um, but I need to get these all lit. Dig out the, uh, the dirt scaffolding in the center. And then just be careful. So satisfying that they're all light it means I didn't miss any other okay careful um, and then the front side I will light those from the inside out after I remove the dirt scaffold uh, the nether portals themselves will provide some light but I don't think it'll be an issue. Hello. That means they're already spawning. This is exciting. It's going to work. I just have to make sure I don't accidentally attack one. Because that could be. That could be bad. I know I can kill them. Um, let's see here. Oops. Okay, that's why we left this scaffolding in place for now. Let's go take out these torches first. And if I lose a couple torches, I don't care, they're cheap. Woohoo, portal's lit. Tear out scaffolding. I don't ever need to go over there again. And <laughs> they're in the clouds. Okay, awesome. Now, now we have to place water. Oh, no, 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 no. Now we go down and dig out the drop hole. Hi, guys. Don't mind me. Just preparing for your eventual doom. And you can see it goes down there. I'm curious. Let's, let's actually, before I do anything... Uh, no. No, you know what? Screw that. I need to place water. Because I don't want that to happen. Okay, it's no big deal. We'll uh, deal with them later. Okay, so. Okay, so this now. Place bucket. Yeah. Place bucket. Fill bucket. Fill bucket. Now I should just be able to place bucket. Fill bucket. <laughs> place bucket. Fill bucket. Place bucket. Fill bucket. Place bucket. Fill bucket. 
Place bucket. Fill bucket. Place bucket. Fill bucket. Place bucket. All right. And fill bucket. And I want to get the other side over here. Bucket. Hey dudes, welcome. You are you are at, coming to the soft opening of our new water ride. I hope you like it. Should be pretty exciting. Designed especially for you. Yeah. Okay, so by doing this, it should push all of them from this side over there. Oops, fill the bucket. Oh, don't go in. Place bucket. Fill bucket. Place bucket. Fill bucket. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I'm sure all you know how this works. Um, so I'm placing source blocks along the edge. And the points at which two source blocks uh, are opposite sides of another block, that other block becomes a source block. As long as I don't accidentally hit one of these guys, they should just dance around in the water for a little bit and then get pushed down the hole where they will fall to their death and give me all their gold that's what I'm after here okay and then in the corners I place one right in the corner there uh oh uh, that, that works differently than hmm can I place one here? That should work, right? Oh, it worked differently in my creative world. Okay, place one there. Scoop. Place one here. Scoop. And then get around to the side. They're trying to swim, but you know. It's not really a swim ride, guys. It's it's more of a luge ride, or you know, whatever you call it, flume. That's right, like uh, Splash Mountain at, at Disney World. There we go. Okay, guess what? It's all in place. Let me just fill up the bucket. Not that I need it. Now let's go downstairs and check to make sure that uh, light levels aren't badly affected um, I found so the light going into the center there is a little disturbing I don't have a good way of measuring it I do plan to take out all these torches so let me do that uh, they will be contributing some oh you know what wait a second <laughs> before I do that let's go get some glass I don't want creatures spawning up here on the walkway. So I should have uh, I should have some glass here. Let's get this out of the way. Uh, put this down there. I don't need these guys anymore. And I should be able to get by with. Uh, yeah, that should be plenty. All right. And let's do this. For now, I mostly just want to get rid of the torches. Um, I need to get it so that the light level in the center at the drop hole is like two or three. And with the, the big circular thing, which is hard to see at night, um, uh, it, just with daylight, even at noon, it gets the the light level at the hole down to two so then that means the light down at the spawning pads uh, two blocks below will be zero 
which is perfect. Um, I don't mind if it's a little bit, it'll still work. Uh, but I designed the, the size of the of the uh, umbrella thing here, which you can't even see um, because of the clouds at the moment. It was designed to cut the light level down. Because in Minecraft, the light comes from the sky, not the sun. Which is fine. It makes it easier to predict. And you know, the stack of glass. All these torches that are going into the water, of course, will just end up in the chest down at the bottom. All right, so I do want to bring this up. Uh, I'm thinking two more courses just to be safe. I like being able to come up here and look at the pigmen, but uh, I want to make sure that none of them are going to be able to walk off the edge and get over here. It's far enough that they shouldn't be able to. And you see a little light there because the portals are emitting light. Let's see how bad it is. <coughs> Um, I, I did some tests and, and it seemed like, oops, I didn't, it didn't look like, oh, it's still dang dark back here. Oh, I think this is going to be plenty fine. I think this is working. All right. Thank you. Okay. So let's, uh, let's see how we're doing. So we've, we've seen a bunch of pigmen just drop there. So let's uh, let's go see what we got. I'm not expecting this to, to output a ton of gold. Uh, but it will give me some. And of course it'll take like 80 z zombie pigmen in order to, um, to give me like a block of gold. 81. Look at this. I've got 8 gold nuggets already. That's pretty cool. Alright. So... Um, I built up this glass here a little bit because guys were falling on top of it. They were still dying, but and the witches. Um, occasionally I get witches that spawn on the bottom in the bottom chamber, and this fall isn't enough to kill them, so I have to go beat them up. Um, and it seemed like they were able to lob. I had this one glass high here, and they were able to lob potions at me. Oh, hello. No gold from you? Okay. It's too bad. Let me get these arrows out of here. Get the arrows away. Alright. So anyway, that's that's my uh, gold farm. Uh, you know, as I said, I don't expect it to be super productive. Um, since it's now daylight and it has stopped raining, let's go take a peek at the completed structure. point here you can't see it too much let's uh swim out here go swimming with the uh the squiddies there was a little island out here dead ahead it was a little close for my taste and it was mostly composed of sand and i needed a bunch of glass so i uh i leveled it i didn't have any tnt so i leveled it with uh with a shovel and I left one block that's just under the water so we can actually go take a look, stand on it, and take a look at our farm. It's a pretty good vantage point. And, uh, and I gave me plenty of sand. And you can see from here that there's more, there's another continent, island sort of mass over here that, uh, I need to go exploring. I've explored a little bit, um, Spent a very uh, scary night uh, on on the edge on a cliff. All right. Okay. Ah, oh, there we go. Wait for the clouds to pass. So that's the uh, the mob tower, mob combination mob farm, uh, gold farm with the uh, the umbrella structure on top the umbrella is all covered with uh, half slabs so I don't get any beasties spawning up there I didn't want to put torches because I didn't want the light to bleed around because it can do that wow those clouds move slowly at a distance 
There we go. I bet this looks neat at night. So there we go. Uh, thank you for watching. And uh, I'm, I'm going to go put a couple more courses of glass up on the inside of the viewing deck. But uh, otherwise, that's basically done. I'm going to move on to the next project. Um, I'm thinking... Let me grab Snapshot. Because that's so pretty. Alright. So I'm thinking... Extending this bridge out this way. Seeing what's out that direction. And then, of course, I want to come over here. And explore some of all this. Because it's... Um, it looks potentially interesting and there's a lot of sand over here so that's uh that's all well and good hello mr squid and uh yeah and then of course over that way to the north i have the snowy biome and i want to build a snow farm with uh build some snow golems and play around with them uh i want to do it in a little more organic of a way than trapping a snow golem in a corner and just digging out the snow beneath them. Uh, I want to make a snow golem pen. See how that works. I don't know. I'm sure other people have done this. I'm just playing around. It's another nice shot there. Alright. So there we have it. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you like the video, uh, please uh, be sure to hit the like button and if you want to learn more about uh, Learn about more videos as I complete them go ahead and, uh, and subscribe to the channel. All right uh, Thank you very much, and I will see you next time Out of my way squiddies coming in yeah. All right, okay very good